Looks like we've got a swarm moved into the box. They're trying to land on my hand. That's why I was moving around. But, uh, success! Yay! Hello, everybody. Welcome to Adventures in Beekeeping. We're here in Trimble County in Bedford, Kentucky at the Agape Wilderness Retreat to pick up a swarm trap that we put here. Uh, the owners, Mark and Susan, have been very gracious to allow me to put up a swarm trap on one of their trees uh, out in the woods. And we're here right now tonight to, to pick it up. The swarm came in there um, two weeks ago and they've been in there for two weeks and I, the box has been up maybe eight weeks. Um, so let's go get them. So here it is. You can see the bees are in there. They're coming out to see what my headlights are doing. And I'm just gonna seal up that hole there and then take it down from the tree and away we'll go. Uh, hope all this all goes well. Here we are the next morning, uh, May the 22nd. It's early in the morning. Uh, this is the uh, Gopi Wilderness Retreat Swarm Box. And uh, I just, all I did was just put a piece of wood over the hole on the right hand side and strapped it in with the strap. Um, last night I was thinking I didn't have any 10 frame equipment to use for this. I was just going to have to leave it in the swarm trap for a while, but I remembered that I have two uh, five frame nooks still uh, in the hardware, in the woodworks. Um, so I'm just going to do a, a five frame nook double stack and I'm just going to carry them down to the apiary and set them there for a while to, to rest before I do the transfer to the five frame nook. Here we are at the high stand, uh, ready to transfer this swarm into their new home. I decided to use a double five frame nook. Um, one of the problems here in Kentucky is there's been so many swarms that there has been a uh, supply problem on new 10 frame uh, boxes. And of course I like the uh, Cypress. So that's uh, even worse. So um, we're just gonna open this up, transfer. If we find one that's pretty full of honey, I'm gonna put it in the top. Uh, other stuff, brood and everything, I'm just gonna put in the bottom. And then uh, we just kind of casually look for the queen. It's not necessary that we find the queen, but we do want to see uh, some larvae and some cat brood. Um, Mark and Susan were super nice. <laughs> they came out to the into the woods uh, area um, at Agape Wilderness Retreat and uh, met us and saw us bringing in the hive uh, or the swarm. Uh, if you ever have any need to have a um, meeting or a group of people come together for a weekend or for a day or for a night, uh, uh, consider Agape Wilderness Retreat. It's a, a uh, great place and great people that run it. All right, here we go. Now, a couple of things. I decided not to smoke these ladies. They've been a, there's been enough trauma, so I'm not going to smoke them. That may be a mistake. We'll see. You'll be the first to see it on the video because they will probably come boiling out of there when we open this up. But that's. Uh, what we're gonna do. So there they are. I don't know if you can see that, but they are coming out. So I am wearing gloves because I have no idea what these ladies' uh, or temperament is going to be like. Can you see? Yep, I think you can see. All right, so. That was a little noisy, noisier than I wanted. But now we have the top on. They're uh, pretty excited to be here in their new home. Uh, good news, they didn't make any burp home. Now these 
this box was probably 30 or 40 pounds when I picked it up from the tree. Um, so they're, they've been busy packing away the honey and doing other work. They definitely need some, some more space. understandable that they would be reasonably uh, excited about being here. All right, ladies, give me a little room. I'm trying not to smoke you. I don't want to smoke you. All right. All right, I'll just try to show you each one of these frames. A good frame of uh, nectar. Super frame of nectar. Some capped. And some capped abrupt, capped uh, nectar honey up there and lots of pollen this is a great pollen frame wow look at all that pollen all right let's see. Now that frame is a foundation frame. This frame is probably not was not a foundation frame. Let's check it and see. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. This was not a foundation frame. And they are running out of room. Oh my. Look at all that. And they have built home on the bottom. They have home everywhere. Okay. Plan B. Let's see. Kind of expected that, but not to that extent. Let's see. Okay. I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see. But what's happened is that the we left the bees in the swarm trap uh, longer than longer than we should have and what they did was they built comb on the bottom of the frames and those that comb that's on the bottom of the frames not going to fit into the hive box Can you see all that and the problem is is that it's so soft that i may not be able to get it into another frame but I'm going to try. Hopefully you can see this. I have another uh, lid here and I'm just going to try to uh, rubber band that piece of comb into this other frame. Uh, like I said, it is super soft. It's super, super soft. It's brand new. Even this frame, I'm afraid to tip it because of how soft it is. And it's a foundationless frame. So um, they built this themselves. They did not have any help. Look at that honey. Look at that capped honey. And they capped honey across the top there. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in before it falls. this so I'm just going to put some rubber bands on here and try to encapsulate so there's young larva queen is good put some larva in there every time you do something it's an adventure
They seem really nice and gentle. It'll be nice and gentle until I mean rough with them. Okay, there's one, not great, there's one, I'm going to put it in. Alright, look here for the queen I don't know so this is uh, just uh, well, there's an RV on there too ah. I don't know how we're gonna get that one in so this was a drawn comb from last year so all they had to do was lay eggs in that so you can see look at that beautiful Beautiful brood pattern. This side is uh, probably was brood and is now nectar. There's emerging brood coming in. Well, okay. So this was an empty frame, and they've uh, worked on making that. Well, things have settled down a little bit. Here is the agape swarm, agape swarm in their new home, a double deep nook, and I have ten frames in there. Um, it was not pretty. The bees are so were so active in the swarm box that they built new fresh comb on the bottom of the frames and it was so soft that I wasn't able to put all of it into frames. I think I was able to get two or three frames um, of that comb that was on the bottom of the frames into other frames and rubber band them in. Um, there was one frame that did not have a foundation in it and it was super soft and when I was working with it, it fell out of the frame. So I tried to rubber band that back into place. So this hive probably has seven frames now of either brood or honey and or um, uh, nectar. Um, they have some room to grow. I did see the queen. I was dumping the rest of the bees out of the 
hive trap onto the top and there was the queen. She just walked right down into the frames. She knew where she was and where she was going. And um, so the rest of the bees should be going into the box. The few stragglers in the swarm box. And then there's some here on the front still trying to figure out what in the world is going on. Uh, but this will be their new home. I'll probably move them just a little bit to the right. Uh, so there's a little bit of room between there and that other hive. But they should be happy. So thank you, Mark and Susan, at Agape Wilderness Retreat. Um, I'll leave a link to their webpage in, or their um, Facebook in the description. If you all need to have a retreat or a, an event of some kind, uh, consider uh, Agape Wilderness Retreat. Um, Thank you much, so much for watching. God bless and have a great day.